Hello there guys, welcome to episode 8 of this Blackpool gameplay. Uh, he joined us last time with a bit of a mixed bag really. Uh, we got knocked out of the FA Cup, we got beat to Stoke at home. We are now currently about to play Notts County at home and then we travel to Brentford away. The league performances have really been struggling at the moment. You can see we got beat by Cardiff, we got beat by Stoke. We drew with Bristol City at home. We got beat by Reading at home, but we're still in third position. Now, obviously, we're way behind the top two, uh, but we need to ensure that we keep up this um, momentum. You know, I know we only won in the Vans Trophy, but we really have to make sure that we push forward now. Uh, we can't afford to fall behind anymore. So with that in mind, we're going to look here about which formation we would like to play, and I think that's what we're going to go for. Yep. Bullock is just a little bit touched. No, wow, he's going to be tired though, Richardson, isn't he? Yeah, I was going to give Richardson a bit of a game then, um, but no, I've decided to change my mind. Okay, Tommy as well on the bench. We'll put Clarks on the bench, and obviously Fenton. He's a very good, um, he's a very good reserve striker to have on your team if you need him. Um, so we do need to really start to push on. It, it's becoming a bit of a worry. Even the board have said that. They're worried about the recent run of results, and I completely agree with them. I don't really understand why we're struggling in the league as much as we are at the moment, but it just seems to be a bit of a, a, a panic station already. I mean, it seems like it's squeaky bum time, and we're not even halfway through the season yet. You know, we're just gradually getting to Christmas time. Uh, Termadera making it 1 0. That's his 25th goal of the season, by the way. I've just saw that then. That's crazy to think that he's got that many goals for this club, and it's only halfway through 26 now. Um, 6,000 again. I keep going on about this attendance and the stadium being needed to be expanded. I really do think that the board need to listen to this because we seem to be missing out on a lot of income here. You know, God knows how many more people you could get in, but all I know is that we're filling the stadium. So it's quite frustrating because it's 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 a, a loss of income, a loss of easy income, really. Yeah, this is a nice win. This is much better. Madeira's got his hat-trick there as well, which is really good. I'm going to take Bullock off because he, he was knackered anyway, wasn't he? Uh, I'm going to put O'Kane on as well for Richie Wellins just because um, Richie is a very important player to this team. And O'Kane isn't actually that bad. So, yeah. We're going to have to start thinking as well for next season. I'm already looking at players that are coming out of contract. In o oh, God. I, I'm coming out of contract in 2 why can't I turn them around? There we go. Already looking for players that are coming out of contract in 02. So that's something that's in the back of my mind already. You always need to start planning for the future. Um, but yeah, we'll see how that one pans out as we get further around April time, I think. That's when we'll start to get a true... Oh, God, how long's he out for? A month. Oh, disaster. Typical. You get a good win and then everyone's out. Okay, we move on to Brentford anyway. Brentford away... Um, they are low in the table, not incredibly low though, they're sort of bottom half, um, but once again it doesn't mean anything because you've seen we've been beaten by teams and we've we've also beaten teams that are higher up than us in the past, so this league is so topsy-turvy. Our main aim this season is to get promotion, I don't care how it is, the, the really good thing about this league is that there are two automatic promotion places that we can grab. Um, so ultimately our aim is to get in there. If not, I do think we'll get playoffs. That's the bare minimum that I think we'll get this season. But we have to ensure that we're consistent up until the end of the season to achieve that. So Heskey moves to... That's a bargain. 4.4 million for Heskey. He's 23, 17 England caps as well. That's a really... Yeah, you see, he's rejected. See, he's one that said he's interested in us... Obviously, I'm not even going to go anywhere near the guy because he's just worth a ridiculous amount of money. His wages are 14 grand as well. That's one that's going to simply have to wait until we possibly go up and then we get given a budget to spend. Um, I'm not even going to think about that at the moment. Um, I'm going to put Thompson in there. Right back. Parkinson is actually a really good right back, but I haven't played him this season. I'm going to give it to Richardson. I am going to give Richardson a bit of a run out here. Let's see how we get on. Okay. So, there's a few games that obviously we've been beating in the past. And these are the types of games that we want to make up for it in a way. So, there's always going to be games where they need to sort of make up for something that we've previously done wrong. 
Obviously, we're getting beat. Oh, there we go. Bullock's got the equaliser. Fantastic. Um, if we can really start to push on now, that'd be amazing. And they've got that Robbie Musto as well. He's going to probably score past us because I looked at his stats before. That's just karma. We're actually not playing too bad. That's the most annoying thing. And they'll probably end up sneaking a goal. Is that Marinelli as well? Is that, he's even Arsenal. Middlesbrough. Is he Arsenal? No. What am I thinking about? Okay, one all at the minute. Um, yeah. And we've got Wrexham in four days. I'm not going to necessarily worry about fitness at the moment. I think this game is more important in itself. I know that Richardson's going to be tired because he hardly plays, so he might be one that I just need to go off tactically at this moment. So I'm going to bring him off. And I'm going to put Clarkson on in his place. And I think that is just down to pure fitness. Oh, that is so frustrating. 75th minute. Because you contain it for pretty much the whole game. Let me get the crossbar as well. It just doesn't seem to be going for us at the moment. The league form seems to be struggling. I think there's no consistency here. We've got Wrexham next. Where are Wrexham, by the way? I mean, Wrexham are second from bottom. We should be going to Wrexham and beating them. We've got Northampton. Where are they? Northampton are relegation places as well, pretty much. So there's two games there that we could possibly win. Then we go to Wigan. I'm surprised Wigan aren't higher. I am really surprised by that. I might even have... Oh, he's been requested. He wants to move to a bigger club. I don't know if he sees us as a big club. I'm going to put him on a shortlist because his contract expires in 02 as well. He feels he should be a first-team regular. The thing is, though, I don't need strikers. I need other areas. To... See, he's 02. He's been told by his agent it's time to move on. He's not a bad little player. He won't play because I've got Duff. No, he's too old. He's, he's past it. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. That was, Again, it was another mixed bag and a, a frustrating mixed bag, if anything. We need more consistency if we're going to push on towards getting automatic promotion here. Or promotion at all, because I don't think we can sustain a two-legged a two-legged tie and then go to a final. I really don't think we can win those three games in a row at the minute with how inconsistent we're being. Uh, but please come back for the next video where we're about to face Wrexham away. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys later.